Hey everybody, today we're going to try something a little bit different and uh, take a look at this image that's been going around on the internet, right? And it comes from a Spanish car commercial that adapts uh, one of my all-time favorite cartoons from when I was but a wee lad. And that, of course, is the Dungeons & Dragons Saturday morning cartoon. Now, uh, this was created uh, by Mark Evanier, famous comics writer and historian, uh, he's written things like Gru the Wanderer, many books about Jack Kirby, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and has been involved in the television uh, cartoons and comic books for many years, including being the director and, and writer of many, many iterations of the Garfield cartoon. So if you're like me, a child of the 80s, you grew up on these guys, and you remember uh, they got lost on a, in a carnival and ended up in the realm of Dungeons & Dragons. And uh, each of them had a special weapon corresponding to a different sort of character class, from Dungeons and Dragons. I think the genius of this was that it's kind of a, uh, a metaphor for playing Dungeons and Dragons, the role playing game, right? So, uh, and, and this is where I think, why I think this succeeded and is so popular and, and, and is a fond memory of so many um, compared to any other Dungeons and Dragons adaptation that I can think of. Anyway, let's take a look at this Spanish commercial for a French car that is uh, really something special. Awesome to see all the characters that we remember, all the different classes, including Uni. There's Tiamat. The dragon. We got uh, Bobby with the club. We got the, the acrobat, the thief, the ranger, the pa the uh, not the paladin, but the uh, what do they call that guy? Cavalier. And of course, Avenger on his winged horse. This is amazing. And of course, our old pal, the Dungeon Master. Amazing. Incredible effects. Unlike Game of Thrones, you can actually see everything. Out of the carnival. It's the finale that we never got on the Saturday morning cartoon. Novo Renault Quid Outsider, o SUV dos compactos. That was amazing. I I can't. Can you tell by the look on my face that I enjoyed that? That was freaking amazing. If you're a child of the 80s and love Dungeons and Dragons the way that I did, then uh, you, you must have loved that. And uh, hey, <laughs> speaking of things you love, if you like that video, you might like hey some of these other videos. Check them out. You might like some of my stuff about comics or computers or goofy pop culture stuff like you're watching right now. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.